we have a very uh how do i put it now for us to have an understanding of what i think about this edu election it's going to be a very tough one i must confess <coughs> yes, if what do you think about yeah. you know this list of yeah. candidates just in apc alone we have over 20 candidates aspirant in apc well i think that we have another off cycle election again this mm -hmm. year and first starting in september and the claims by adam Oshomele of apc being Edo uh, being an APC Gandhi, 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 yes, National Chairman, yeah. Yoshimoli. And both of them. And mm. uh, does this seem to fit right? I've always known Edo as a very progressive state. <clears throat> During the NPN, UPN era, they were UPN. And of course, talking about South South, South South has always been on what they consider a progressive side. But uh, <clears throat> even though they were NPN that period. Now, this, pe this time around, you're talking about a, a PDP and APC. And the Labour Party. And Labour Party. Labour Party seems to be the third force. So it is not even right for you to, at this moment, at this present dispensation, to think of a particular party being a dominant party or being favoured. Anything can happen. Uh, but looking at the candidates, you find out that the candidates are all qualified. I know Professor Sumba there, that's one name that rings bell. They are all very strong candidates. We have entered the period of election, I have between general, about six months to go, or seven months to go. And it is imperative that you have the usual, you know, gerrymandry, you know, grandstanding and politicking among the various political actors. So it's not a strange development. Uh, at the end of the day, what will be paramount and what we give APC a chance to win is for them to have the right internal democracy. Because that is the bane of party politics in Nigeria. In River State, APC lost it because the internal democracy was flawed. And this time it's incumbent on Edo State to ensure that they do not fall into the abyss of disarray within their party, within their ranks. Ganduja is talking. And sometimes national infiltration or, or national uh, infiltration, I would like to call it. Uh, usually bring a lot of disarray within the political structure. So if they don't get it right at the primaries, then they should forget the state. But the names are too many. Now, here, here is yeah, exactly. Let me just take it off from where you left off because I've been thinking <laughs> while you were talking about the gerrymandering, if they don't get it right, the, looking at the class of individuals. Then you talked about El Sunbo. There is a Pastor Ize Iyamu. Of course, they're very um, strong. That's, yeah, that's yeah. the strongest of them. Yeah. Of them all. And then Clay Magba. The former, the, the, even the past minister of the exactly. state for budget and planning, uh, planning. Uh, exactly. who went to see the Oba, mm -hmm. and the Oba made a statement. Mm -hmm. And that statement, I think, may affect his chances. Mm. Because the Oba told him that now you have come because you want to go for governorship. What did you do to when you were in office? Minister. And when you were so, minister. Yeah, so, so, if you, look at, if you look at the class of individual mm. that the APC have lined up, and then you look at uh, Ganduje's position, which is, we are determined. And then you made a very critical, you raised a very critical issue, which is, if this is not properly sorted, you could create a division that may sink the party. Mm -hmm. Do you think that Ganduje and then Oshomole, for instance, mm -hmm. and other stakeholders of the party in Edo, do you think they understand? Do you see the list of names? Mm -hmm. Who are you going to give the ticket? Who are you not going to give the ticket? Mm -hmm. Edo State um, is presently a PDP state, because, and then they are fighting tooth and nail to see that they keep that going. Labour Party is a very strong force in Edo State. As a matter of fact, it will be one presidential election in, in Edo State. In Edo State. The chairman of the, the, the recognized MD. chairman, the INEC recognized chairman now. Mm -hmm. of, from of, Abure. From Abure. Abure is from Edo exactly. State. Exactly. Also. So <laughs> there is a tough fight. Very tough. In the hand of these three political parties. But with the APC, not having a proper consensus and lining up all of these persons if anything goes wrong and one of them seems not to get it do you think that ganduja and the apc national and at the state level would understand the impact that will have on the party yes. if someone like Ize Yamu doesn't get it and decides to pull out and join forces with either labor or these other persons and imagine where they all get, end up not not being satisfied remember mm -hmm. Isaiah has been there trying to get the ticket he was, for he was candidate of pdp mm -hmm. when the Obasuke was in the apc mm -hmm. and then he was equally a candidate of apc when Obasuke went to pdp mm -hmm. so you can understand that so he has contested 
and uh, this time around he also and then for the chairman of the party to resign to join the government uh -huh. place. Yes. Yes. That's, another, that's another very strong so, point. So there's, 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 there's already a battle. Is there, there's already a battle. It's a battle battle ground. Ground. Yeah. Yes. So do you think that Ganduje and the party national leaders, even at the state level, if you may understand what this means, to put all of these people out there and say to your thanks, O oh Israel? Yeah, what, what is going on in Edo is a very serious one. And like I said, if they don't handle it well. Well, a lot of factors we have to play. The fact of uh, zoning. Ordinarily, you have senatorial zones, right? From their party constitution. But you also have their local cleavages. You know, you have they do north, they do the central, and all that. If they do not rotate properly and they do not allocate the governorship slot in that proper order that shows spread and equity, that is one area that the bubble may burst. And then looking at the credibility of candidates, sometimes candidates that are too strong may have stepped on so many toes. That's why I was talking about Professor Sumbo being an intellectual. And that intellectual capacity may attract a endear lot of, uh, endear him to the people, and empathy or sympathy. Mm. 